Greetings St. Vincent students. Uh, you're on the road, 48 states, 48 bir uh, birds maybe, and 48 days. So uh, I'm doing these videos to uh, give you some entertainment and some education while you're on your trip. Today I want to call, uh, call your attention to the brown-headed cowbird. And uh, it is in fact a, a black bird. Um, with a brown head. The males have a brown head and a black body um, and even those those colors are somewhat um, similar. Uh, it's very striking when you see them out in the sun you can tell the difference between those two colors. Um, so that's the male. The female is more of a well I'd say combination between brown and black. It's just the same color overall just kind of this um, tannish, darkish color uh, blackbird that you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't really be able to distinguish from some of the other blackbirds very well. Well, the reason I'm telling you about cowbirds is because they live in the open country and you happen to be visiting Nebraska today and you're gonna probably see a whole bunch of cowbirds as you're uh, driving along the highway. You've got farmland uh, to the left and to the right and um, particularly in the uh, farmer, um, like the area where the, where the barnyard would be or the area where you might see cattle, uh, you're gonna see the, the cowbirds on the ground. Um, they like the grassy habitat, they eat insects and uh, worms and things like that. Um, and in fact, that's one reason why they're called cowbirds is because uh, they hang out in these pasture lands. Uh, and as the cow moves around eating grass, it disturbs the insects that are living in the grass. Uh, and so those insects kind of um, spring up and the cowbirds grab them. So the cowbirds are sometimes perched on the back of the cows, uh, looking down uh, at the ground, looking for food. So the other interesting thing about cowbirds is they do not make their own nest. So, huh, oops, my phone just fell from the perch it was in. Um, the uh, female cowbird um, will look around and find another species bird, another bird species nest uh, to lay its eggs in. Um, and so she'll come around, she'll lay an egg. Cowbird eggs tend to be large and they're uh, speckled and they will stand out in other birds' nests because uh, each bird has, species has a different colored egg. But the host species, that is the nest where the cowbird laid its egg, um, those parents don't identify uh, that that's a different kind of egg than their own. Uh, it's just because of evolution. Evolution um, hasn't caught up with the host species um, and such that they just don't have the cognition, um, the, 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 the ability to d distinguish different eggs because that just didn't evolve until recently. Um, eventually they'll come up with, you know, they'll evolve and uh, they'll discover uh, that they can um, identify those eggs and throw them out. Now actually some species will throw, they will identify that egg as not being their own. They'll throw that egg out and well the cowbird will come back and lay another egg. In fact uh, female cowbirds will lay up to uh, 80 eggs per year. Um, because, hey, they don't have to spend energy building their own nest. They just look around for other birds' uh, nests and, and will deposit their eggs that way. That's called brood parasitism. Uh, they're being a parasite. They're kind of taking advantage of another species um, because that other species will incubate the egg and feed the young and take care of the young, often to the detriment of its own children. So, anyway, uh, you can debate on whether that's uh, really fascinating and good for the cowbirds or bad for uh, the birds that are parasitized. Alright, uh, have a great trip. See you tomorrow, perhaps.